Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the easiest swing trading strategy you guys can use to start making money from trading in the stock market. Whether you're a beginner or you're a full-time trader, this strategy will suit anybody that's pretty much willing to put in the time to learn it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. My name is Carter. I've been a swing trader for over six years. And with that being said, we do have an amazing school where I teach people my strategies, my mindset, more importantly, how to find these undervalued stocks, the approach behind it. On top of that, we got private live streams, quizzes, lectures, everything if you want to take trading to the next level. And we got a back to school day sale where you guys can get 50% off by using code school. It's awesome. Check it out down below. And guys, let's dive into this. So when it comes to swing trading and trading in the markets, there's a couple of things you need to know beforehand before the strategy. The first thing is, is just because you watch this video doesn't mean you're an expert as a trader. M myself included, I am not a expert. Anybody that is actively in the stock market is a student, no matter what, right? The stock market's constantly teaching you things and it's your job as a trader to adjust to it. Now, one of the things here as well that I want to talk about is if you're just starting out, have very, very realistic expectations with yourself. Don't watch this video and expect to turn $100 into $100 million. That's never gonna happen. What you need to focus on if you're just starting out is education, paper trading, and base hits. Those three things can really, really set you up for success. Now, the reason why education, the more you learn, the more you're gonna earn. Paper trading, learn that strategy. Base hits, what that means is, you know, those one, two, 3% returns, those, you know, small returns at the time, compounded over the course of a year can add up to thousands of dollars that could that that really really is what separates a successful swing trader from a non-successful swing trader is all base hits and consistency so let's talk about a stock here that we recently traded and we'll talk about the approach and mindset behind it now i i am using mumu this is the broker that i absolutely love and the reason why is they offer great charting they offer great scanning but more importantly, it's a trading broker. So they, they have everything suited for traders. I'll put a link to them down below. You guys can get up to 20 free stocks just by signing up with them. So check it out. Now, why, I know a lot of you might have said, why, you know, how do you buy this position? So we'll actually show you guys our PL record for this stock here. So you guys can see our average cost was 400. This is the stock here. Um, was near and around $454. Our exit was near and around $522 as of today. Our PL was over two, a little over 2,000. Uh, our PL per percent was about 14%. And now going in and looking at what happened, why we bought it. So for me, I always think it's very, very, very important here to have a solid checklist. So we'll kind of go through our checklist um, with the stock here. So. The first thing I always look at is I go to the daily and I want to see just the overall trend of the stock. You guys can see we've seen some good growth out of it, good upward trend. I always imagine the, the trend of the stock is like a river. It's a lot easier to just go downstream with the with the river than trying to swim up upstream. It, you got to have that same approach as a trader. Um, you know, the trend is always your friend. Now, the second thing here that's very important is trying to find some sort of support. So support here could be a certain indicator, like kind of where we get some buying pressure. You also can see, you know, any any time it is hovering very, very close to this red line, you know, we get some good buying pressure. But if we actually go to the hourly, you can see the heavy support here near and around this five or 400, this 450, uh, about 50 area. Now, like I said, our average cost was 154. So we got in near and around, you know, in this zone in here and here, you know, right around here. Now, the approach behind it here, you can actually see um, Meta released an earnings report, right? Right here, the stock went from about 450 all the way up to over 530. It immediately sold off just due to market the market volatility. Now, this is where we actually were very, very confident in this position. So it sold off just due to the general market selling off. It hit this hourly support here and then started rallying its way up. My expression and my approach behind most stocks is buy low, sell high. So 
I, I never get fearful of sell-off. I always look at sell-off as an opportunity, and that's exactly what you need to you, you know you need to have. So with that being said, the stock sold off here. Boom, hit that support. We set our stop loss just below it, and the stock has rallied its way up. Then the approach behind you know what um, you know entering and stuff like that. We also use the RSI. We go to the daily on the RSI, and you can see it was trading for near and around about a 30 on the RSI. Now, a 30 on the RSI is considered an undervalued point for the stock, right? Looking back at previous times, it was at a 30, was back in here where we had this good move. Previous to that was back in here where we had this good move. So I understood that, you know, the RSI is, is a momentum indicator. So it's going to track the stock's momentum and determine the best points of reversal. So I always highly recommend using the RSI. The next thing I look for is the earnings. I never want to hold during, through through an earnings. It's very, very risky to do so. Um, and we'll actually show you a position here that we sold right before the earnings because it's in our checklist that we never hold, right? We never hold through the earnings. We always want to make sure we know the earnings date. This was a ticker symbol BJ here. This was a stock that we recently traded. And you can actually see we took a trade on the 90 day moving average line where it hit and we had that good move. And then looking at this chart here, you can see the massive sell off due to a bad earnings. So we never want to hold through an earnings. It's very, very, very risky to do so um, as a trader, as a long term investor. That's the name of the game. Uh, the next thing here is looking at the risk and reward. So obviously, let's go back to the hourly and we can draw it out a lot easier here. Let's remove the RSI so we have more charting. So this is why I love Moomoo's. Like I said, they're a trading broker. So hopping in near and around this 454 uh, area, setting our stop loss below some of the lowest wicks here, and setting our target back up at highs gives a risk and reward of 4.58. So what that means is we're risking $1 to make $4.58, which is an astonishing return. Now that we are in on this position, you know we're in on this position we're doing very very well how do you sell when do you sell so for me we we exited the stock here near and around this 522 area so why you may have asked is because it dipped below these moving average lines at 522 and really looking at it i haven't looked at it in the past you know in a little bit here and we've gotten more sell off from this so you know cutting your losses understanding when you're wrong you're wrong but when you're right, don't be afraid to add more to your position, to double down. You know That is what really, really compounds your account. But if you're just starting out, swing trading, focus on those base sets, focus on learning. And don't forget, you guys can use code school for 50% off in the, in, and you'll have access to a whole bunch of fantastic stuff. So guys, hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.